Greetings and salutations everyone, I am as always Darth Devious bringing you another video review this time from Transformers Prime The Robots in Disguise Decepticon Rumble Cool little dude here, can't wait to get him out of this package Comes with a full length episode, um, not 100% sure what episode it comes with I'm sure somebody will tell me because I can't see it right now, I'll figure it out, oh loose cannons don't know what that has to do with Rumble. He wasn't in that one, but whatever. You know, it's your standard packaging for Transformers Prime. You know, if you want to read his bio, there you go. You can read it on your own time. All right. He's got his snap-on pile drivers, which have nice blue paint on them there, and they're all molded black there. Fear not. My plan is to do the review of him, then give him some paint, and add on a video at the end, just like I did with a couple other figures, uh, the Fall of Cybertron figures. So, I'm going to get them out of the package. We'll take a look at them, and that'll be it. Be right back. Okay, here we have Rumble out of his package. And you see he's a nice car. He does roll nicely, you know. But, unfortunately, he is very, very plain. I mean, it's just blue with red tinted windows and a little bit of black at the front. That is it. There's all this molded detail in the back for tail lights and whatnot, but it's just there. It's got nice uh, for the for the ports look like gas caps for like a race car stuff. But yeah, he's just very plain in robot in car mode. I will be doing something about this. This is just not going to stay like this whatsoever. There's just too much blue. Now, here are his weapons, as you can see. They're nice, you know, big machine gun things, but they also serve as pile drivers in robot mode, which is cool. And they can plug in, which looks a little goofy, you could say. But... You know, that's what it's there for. These are more for robot mode, but at least you can store them. Um, I know these are molded so that one goes on the left arm, one goes on the right arm. Um, which is kind of cool. It lets you know which one goes where. So, that's that. Like I said, very plain. Not much to show in this mode. I'm going to get him into robot mode, and we'll take another look at him. Be right back. All righty, here we have Rumble in robot mode. Check this thing out. This guy's pretty cool, this little dude. Um, not 100% sure I got everything done right. There we go. But this is kind of cool. You know, I like how he just, he, he's short. He's very short, but he's so stocky and bulky that he just, you know, looks powerful despite being small. He's got a nice head. Let's see if we can see his head sculpt there. It's decent light piping on it, but he also has this nice molded detail here. To me... And a lot of people say it looks like a face. It looks like the uh, Quinnison face for death, the, the skull face. That's what it looks like to me, which is pretty cool. Um, he's got decent posability for such a little guy. You know, he's got a swivel here, a little bit of a ratchet in his arms, which is cool because that'll give him strength to hold that uh, his pile drivers. This goes all the way around, you know, ball joint, swivel. Really nice knee. Look at that. Mainly from the transformation. The transformation was actually kind of fun. Somewhat little bit of a ball joint on the foot. And yeah, he's just pretty cool. I'm glad I got a hold of him now. Um, he's going to get painted because he's got, you know, here it's like molded detail similar to the G1 toy. So I'm going to have to pick that out with some silver, things like that. Um, his pile drivers. Because the way they're molded, they slip over his hands like that. And they're molded 
right and left, which is good, because then you can uh, really get them down in his hand. This one doesn't want to go down into his hand. There we go. And you can get him down here on, on the ground here. Bang, 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 you know? There you go. So that's it. This is a cool little guy, and I recommend him if you can find him. He's uh, hitting the stores now. I actually saw him at Target today after getting him yesterday in my uh, unboxing. Though This is probably going up a few weeks after that. So yeah, just uh, keep an eye out for this. I'm going to take some time, paint him up real nice, and um, I'll put that at the end of this video. Till then, you be good, or he's going to pile drive your faces. Later. Alrighty, so I've taken some time and I've added some paint to Rumble here and made them look, in my opinion, a whole lot better. Um, I know Reaper Labels does some of this stuff already, but I figured I'd do it myself with paint. You see, I redid the front end, gave him some nice headlights, turn signal lights, redid the grill some, got the rims, blue stripe on the door, silver on the gas cap, the back end is where I did a lot of work, you know, the tail lights, backup lights, rear bumper, rear window. Yeah, see? Not too hard if you know it, if you uh, can handle it. It's uh, even did the, as you can see here, I did the door handle. And up here on the, uh, I did the windshield wipers and the vents at the top. And I think that looks so much better than what it used to look like. Um, so give me a minute, I'll put them in robot mode and show you what I did on there, which is fairly subtle. Um, I'll bring in his guns real quick too, because I did add paint to them. And then I'll show you some size comparisons, because I didn't do that in the other part of the review, so we'll do, do it now. But you see, I did his guns, painted that blue, some gray, silver on the end here. So those look a lot better in my opinion. And I'll show you them in his robot mode. Be right back. So here's Rumble in his robot mode. And I really didn't add much to his robot mode because I didn't think it needed it. I mean, the main thing I did was the silver back there on those molded in guns so they stand out on his back. I added a little bit of gray here. I don't know if you can see that. Um, added some gray here and on his arm. Then on his thigh here I painted those spots gray with red dots on it just to break up some of the blue on him a little bit but his robot mode because of all the yellow paint that they put on it really didn't need too much it was basically the car mode on him that needed a lot of a lot of attention and um, his guns of course so um, let's just arm him up real quick and I'll go over a few things that I didn't go over in the rest of the review because I was kind of rushed last time. All right. So with his articulation, the way he's designed, he can, because his head is on this nice ball joint where he can look almost straight up like that, you can actually put him in this nice crouch with the pile drivers down. And he's looking forward. How cool is that? Hmm? Yeah. Um, so let's get some size comparisons. I did say he's small, but he's very bulky. So if we pull, bring in, here's Fergus. And I haven't named the Jet Viacon yet. I'm thinking of naming him Hamish to st stick with the uh, Scottish names. But we'll see. Anyway. As you see, they're a lot larger than him, height-wise, but he's a lot wider than they are. He's just all bulk and brawn and everything else. He's just a really tough-looking little figure. I like him a lot. I'm really glad I got a hold of him. I'm glad I was able to paint him up and make him look a little bit better for you, for uh, my collection. And uh, that's it. This is... Uh, the add-on bit for Rumble. You guys be good, as always. Or I'll send Rumble, the new and improved Rumble, after you. Behave.